Hey, Malcolm Reed here from How to Barbecue Right. I'm hanging out down at Mossy Oak, West Point, Mississippi. Today, I want to show you how I cook some Mossy Oak Gamekeeper Elk Medallions. And we've got some of these beautiful thick cuts of elk. The first thing I'm gonna do to it is cut it up into some cubes because this is gonna kind of be smaller bites. We're gonna wrap in bacon so we add some fat to it because elk is really a lean meat, some of the best venison you can get. So you just wanna take a knife and cut them into bite-sized chunks, enough to wrap a half a piece of bacon around. There's no really right or wrong way to do it. We just wanna kind of eyeball them. That looks about right to me. All of them are pretty close to the same size but we're gonna drop them in a marinade. And I make a wild game marinade. It's really great on any kind of wild game, especially a red meat like venison. I've got some balsamic vinegar, some soy sauce, some brown sugar. You gotta flavor it up. Little red pepper flakes, garlic, salt, pepper. And to round it out, I use some olive oil. It makes a really nice marinade. You just wanna mix all those ingredients up. We're gonna drop the elk medallions down into a zip top bag. Then we're gonna pour the marinade right over the top. We're gonna get all the air out of the bag. You wanna just take it, work it a little bit, make sure it's all covered. You can drop this in the cooler, back in the refrigerator. It needs at least two hours, so it soaks up all these flavors. The balsamic, the soy, it's gonna work on there. Those dry ingredients are gonna add some flavor to it. So now we're gonna skewer up this elk meat. We're gonna wrap it in bacon first. It's been soaking for about two hours in the marinade we put together. There's no right or wrong way to do this. We're just taking a half a piece of bacon, looping it right around. I've got some wooden skewers that I've soaked in water so they won't burn up when we put them on the grill. We're just gonna line these skewers with the elk. It takes a few minutes to get them wrapped up, but there's absolutely nothing to it. So now we got the elk skewered. I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of my steak seasoning. If you got a favorite steak rub right here, go right for it. I like the coarseness of it. It's kind of like a Montreal seasoning, something like that. It's got a different grind where you get whole herbs in it, big flakes of garlic and onion, of course, some salt, some pepper. We're gonna get it on all sides. So just kind of rotate these skewers over. You don't have to go heavy. We got a lot of flavor in the marinade. So it gives it a nice little crust on the outside. And we're gonna fire up the grill. So after 20 minutes, these Royal Oak briquettes are getting hot and I set up a two zone fire. I'm just gonna keep all the hot coals to one side. It leaves me a cool zone over on the opposite end so I can slow things down if anything gets ahead of you. It's a great way to grill and to keep things off the direct heat. So the grill's good and hot. We're ready to put these elk skewers on. We're gonna start them off over in the cool zone. Start bringing up the internal temperature. It's kind of like a reverse sear for them. Then we're gonna finish them off over the direct heat just to crisp up the bacon a little bit. Give them 15, 20 minutes or so, we'll come look at them. So our skewers have been going about 25 minutes. I flipped them halfway so it kind of cooks them even. Now I've turned my grill grates over to give me a flat surface. What I wanna do is move these over and get this bacon sizzling on them. It's gonna crisp it up on that side. It's only gonna take like two minutes each side. These elk skewers will be done. So after about two minutes on each side, these elk skewers are done. You don't think they're sizzling, the bacon's crispy. So I'm serving some roasted asparagus right here on the pellet grill with these elk skewers. All I did was trim and rinse a bunch of asparagus, toss it a little olive oil, season it with some of my TX seasoning. We're gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon over it to finish it off. You gotta have a little bit of greens to go with all this good red meat. Asparagus is a good choice. Now y'all know I've gotta try some of this elk. We're serving it up camp style here on the board at the kitchen table. It's the only way to eat when you're at deer camp. Let's dig in. Perfect, medium, rare. Time to ring the dinner bell. We'll see y'all next time. That's good stuff.